have a nice evening guys and welcome to water process and engineering service today is friday guys and uh, welcome to my vlog uh, thank you very much to all my uh, 179 subscribers please like and subscribe to my youtube channel guys and uh, click the bell button if you have want a notification for our upcoming give video so today in this uh, video we are here right now here in our place here in El Pardo this is our El Pardo branch guys so our shop is not yet uh, finished this is this small shop is intended for our uh, southbound client so this is uh, beside the road Uh, this is uh, El Bardo. So this is uh, uh, the El Bardo proper, uh, the barangay El Bardo. It's the first uh, barangay here in Boloan. Welcome once again to Water Process and Engineering Services. So, in my in this video, uh, we are we are going to talk about uh, UV light, UV assembly, or UV housing. And I'm talking about that housing over there. So that's not the housing that I am. That we are now going to discuss. So I have a client somewhere in uh, Dalaget. Okay. For those uh, who doesn't know about Dalaget, uh, from here we got uh, two towns. Uh, next to this uh, town is Alcoy. So this is a barangay, oh, one of the biggest barangay here in uh, Boloan. So this is uh, in between the <coughs> uh, boundary of Alcoy. So this is the first barangay, uh, El Pardo, Boloan, Cebu. So better known as uh, Mulo Bulo here in uh, the locals so we're going to talk about the this one guys so we're going to talk about this uh, uv housing stainless uv housing which is uh, brought here by our client to fix this one because uh, there is a problem of leaking of the housing somewhere here. So I told them to put to, to put a marker. There's a marker here. So this is the area where the For the leaking of course. Okay, back to our blog. Uh, uh, this uh, UV housing is uh, from my client somewhere in Dalaget. So it's at uh, two towns from this barangay. So the name of uh, the refilling station is Elijah Water Filling Station, and uh, this uh, part of the refilling station is the UV sterilizer. So the brand of this one is Aqua King. If you can see the video, Aqua King UV sterilizer. So this was installed uh, way back a year ago. Maybe uh, 
more than a year. The five years sure more than a year. So the owner told us that there is a pro problem in the leaking of the housing. So since this is not, this is no more under the warranty. Just in our system, we have a six months warranty of the parts and uh, one year of service so this is uh, free from warranty and uh, one year of service so this is now out of warranty but uh, even if this is not uh, warranty anymore as a fabricator we know how to fix this one so in this video I want to teach you on how to uh, weld so the problem this, for this portion is there is a leaking if you can see the marker on that marker there is a leak and I saw the video that was uh, sent to me by my client so there is a leaking in the weld connection so in the for in this portion there's a weld connection between the between this cover this cover you can see Okay, there's a weld connection in this cover. Mm. This cover and this uh, tube because this is uh, basically this is pipe. This is pipe and uh, the manufacturer, which is the Aqua King, uh, weld with the plate. This is the cover plate. And there is a weld connection between the cover plate and the pipe. So, so as what I said, that there is a weld connection in this portion. So, with the weld, this one using this uh, tungsten inert gas uh, welding type type of welding. So this is a combination of uh, electricity and uh, an argon gas. So that is the argon gas over there, guys. That's the argon gas to be uh, combined with that uh, TIG welding. So this is the first time <coughs> that uh, we encountered. Okay, sorry, guys. If uh, sometimes. Our video is very noisy because we are along the road of El Pardo. So a lot of uh, big trucks, vehicles passing by. So uh, anyway, back to this uh, video. We are going to try to weld. This is the first time that we encountered the leak in this uh, housing. Uh, <coughs> UB sterilized housing which is the brand is Aqua King so ever since that we uh, did our business of uh, assembling of uh, auto refilling station machine this is the first time that we encountered leaking on the stainless weld connection so uh, we're not using anymore with this kind of Aqua King we have another brand which is uh, the brand new one is Martin so this uh, we're using right now because uh, we don't have a supplier of aqua queen uh, this is uh, the weld connection we're going to try to weld this one using this uh, tungsten inert gas but uh, first before you're going to weld this one you have to remove all the fittings because uh, when you do the welding of uh, tungsten inert gas the temperature of this uh, stainless steel become hotter so if you can if you're not going to remove the uh, UPVC fittings it might lose the teflon uh, and of course losing <coughs> losing the thread of this uh, uh, female adapter so it's good it's better to remove this one and of course uh, we're going to remove the uh, 
have stain, quartz glass. This is the quartz glass. Quartz glass uh, housing of the uh, UV lamp. So you have, uh, it is advisable to remove the quartz, quartz glass because it might uh, be broken. And of course, this one, if you can see this one, this is the uh, uh, seal, rubber seal between the stainless housing and this quartz glass. So, better remove the uh, silicone like uh, gasket. that's it guys that's what I uh, told you that the, in this place it's uh, very noisy if you can see there's a lot of vehicles passing by private vehicles uh, passenger vehicles dump trucks this is the main this is the main road of uh, uh, barangay il pardo let's take a look Right, uh, this is our small uh, service shop guys here in Il Pardo. so uh, we decided to uh, build this one in order to uh, service our southbound customers like uh, uh, Santander, Oslo, Boloon, Aokoy, Dalagit, Argao, Sibunga, or even Karkar. And uh, on the other side of, uh, on the other side is Sambuan, in Atilan. Maybe they can uh, pass by in this area if they are going to uh, proceed to Cebu City. So as, as you can see in the video, we are currently fabric assembling and uh, well done the fabrication of the skid but uh, we just uh, not yet finished we're not yet done with the piping electrical wiring uh, some fittings so this is intended for our uh, client somewhere in uh, Oslo so thank God, uh, as of this moment, uh, we have a lot, lot of positive clients. Uh, we have a lot to do. We have uh, three fabrications to be scheduled, assembly. So that's it. That's an update of work right here in our Boloon uh, service shop beside the road. So attention to all, our, to all the people who are interested interested to do business with the water filling station we are a legit legit uh, supplier and a fabricator if you can see a while ago that there's a problem in the stainless uh, housing this is uh, what I'm talking about This is what I'm talking about. This is the UV sterilizer housing. So, uh, so they said that there's a problem in the leaking. So, for us, we're, we're going to analyze first if uh, we can. So, so what I said a while ago that first we're going to analyze first if we can uh, repair this one. So to minimize the cost of our client to buy the assembly, uh, we analyze that uh, we can repair this one by using the tungsten inert gas welding and using the stainless filler rod to fill up the leaking in this portion. So our client can not anymore buy the whole system, whole assembly, whole housing. So 
Mundo so she can minimize the cost of uh, uh, buying the housing. So that's it. Our friendly tip right here in uh, water process and engineering services. Serving, servicing our client uh, as long as uh, you are near in our in our uh, service shops there's no problem but if you are very far from our service shop we can do a video call if it is in a minor problem but if it is in a major problem that in which the client cannot uh, repair by itself uh, we will schedule the time of visit and if it's urgent uh, will uh, we will negotiate and we will uh, uh, sit an immediate response on the, the problem of your uh, system so that's it thanks for watching the video all about the repair of the of this kind of parts of the water repair station which is the uv sterilizer housing so to help minimize the cost of our client not to buy this part, we will repair it. And in our company, or in our establishment, we can repair it. So that's it. Thanks for watching the video right here in Water Process and Engineering Services. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, guys. For more notification, click the bell button. Salamat.